Hello, and welcome to another amazing video. I'm Jeffrey. Our team values Abraham's inspiring teachings, especially when they assist many people all over the world in changing their lives simply by changing their thoughts. Please subscribe before we begin so that you do not miss out. Well, you hit right on it with your acknowledgement in your words that when you are feeling the adoration that Source has for you, you're right there. But let's step back and talk about it in very simple general terms. Speak your question again. How do I know what? What is my thought path to viscerally really living? But before that, the question before that, the question before that is, how do I acknowledge that I am in that place? The acknowledgement of that adoration. This is the stepping back that we want you to, the basis that we want you to consider. And once we have this conversation, then everything else will just flood in, in perfect understanding. All good feeling or what you might call positive emotion that you feel means one simple thing. You are translating accurately the vibration of your source. That's what it means because your source is always transmitting that signal. And when you feel that way, you received it. Think about that. Doesn't it put everything in the perfect context? Doesn't it speak to the fact that you are an extension of source? Doesn't it speak to the fact that source is always aware of you? Doesn't it speak to the fact that source energy is always transmitting to you? Doesn't it speak to all of that? And so when you feel that adoration, what that means and all that it means, and it is enough that it is all that it means because it means everything. You're tuned in, tapped in, turned on. You're in the receiving mode. You're receiving that signal and you, and your inner being are reveling together in this moment of appreciation. And of course, negative emotion means some sort of diminishment of that. As you understand that and you know what it means, take it in just for a moment because we know you heard the words, but don't you really like the idea of your conscious accomplishment of no resistance and therefore utter alignment? Do you feel the importance of that? Talk about well-being. It's well-being and that well-being will dominate all. That kind of well-being leaves no room for anything not well-being. And think about what your power of influence must be when you've got that well-being, when you've beamed like a satellite dish, that well-being into the atmosphere that surrounds you. And then think about what happens next when you accomplish that sort of well-being and what was particularly wonderful about that moment in time is that there was more opportunity not to feel well-being than usual but therefore more reason to focus upon the existence of well-being and more habit of focusing upon the existence of well-being an acknowledgement of well-being and then an opportunity to watch what well-being means in an environment where it may not exactly be what everybody's got in mind. So when you tune in to the wholeness of who you are and you move consistently in that atmospheric pattern of well-being, then things can come up close to you. In other words, that was pretty close. You can see everything from those big bus windows up there above everything. It was like watching a ballet of collisions. And yet there was no sense of urgency. Esther didn't even hit her brakes. She just held steady as she moved on her pattern of well-being while everyone around her did whatever it was they were in vibration alignment with, you see. And so we want you to get that sense, that sense of well-being. This is the important component of this. That sense of well-being wasn't fostered because all Esther could see was well-being. It was her established pattern. It was the way she so often felt when she'd get behind the wheel and off they'd go, knowing that everything was in place and they were on their way and on their way and on their way. So often humans want to observe well-being and then pronounce it observe it and then feel it we want you to feel it and then create it we want you to feel it and be the reason for it and so we want this 
science of deliberate creation and art of allowing conversation to be about creating an atmosphere that allows well-being period creating an atmosphere that allows well-being and what is your best opportunity to create well-being before you have anything else going does it help you to know that it's possible yes does it help you to know what it is does it help you to know what it feels like does it help you to recognize when you're there and when you're not the more you acknowledge that you've got it going on then the less guarded you are and the less guarded you are then the less preparation you make about other things what we've noticed with most of you is that it doesn't need to be this way but it usually is and there's nothing wrong with it being this way but by talking about it maybe we can get you to modify it just a little bit for your own benefit your appreciation of others is usually the way that you allow that adoration of your inner being to flow through you when we say be nice to yourself be nice to yourself one of the biggest most often ways that you can be nice to yourself is by appreciating someone else there is nothing that is nicer to yourself than allowing the adoration of source to flow through your focus towards someone else that's why it feels so good that's why appreciation feels so good but in it there is an identification that we are, are all part of the same thing and that my love for you is equivalent in fact same as my love for me and in fact if I don't have love for me then I cannot love you that connection that adoration that you're talking about you got to have the vacuum cleaner plugged in first and so it's all part of the same thing if you could not ever think about that then there would be no reason to leave it in a new place but since it is logical and likely that you are going to continue to think about it then the best idea is to think about it in ways that feel better so we're going to give you a process this has been something that Esther's really been enjoying recently and we're calling it the satisfied dissatisfied or satisfied unsatisfied satisfied not satisfied so she opens her journal and she puts a big s over here and a big un over there and then she just sort of lets life happen so something wonderful will happen or she will just feel wonderful in much the way you just described and so on this side of it she'll write a line that says let's see what were your lines I'm living just a wonderful life and I've taken on a new leadership role just listing those things that are easily satisfying so then on the unsatisfying part of the journal page you might write I worry about some things that have happened in the past happening again satisfied 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 unsatisfied so now because you're right here where you have control it's not satisfied it's the end of the world it's not satisfied I don't know what to do it's not satisfied I'm beside myself it's satisfied or unsatisfied it's just in that controllable low momentum stage is when we're encouraging you to catch it so now you've written that and now if you will take that idea that you just wrote I am thinking about the unpleasant what ifs then you might say but there are so many pleasant what ifs and I have no reason to think about unpleasant what ifs these are just habits of thought and things are going extremely well and it's so unnecessary that I bring the past into this because it has nothing to do with it so now you've got satisfied 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 not satisfied satisfied but this is the point on the subject of dissatisfaction you have left that subject in a place that you have never left it before well probably doing that today is not going to do the trick completely because there were a lot of things that you were worried about every relationship has a certain amount of insecurity within it in other words when your happiness seems like part of the reason is because of this other person then this other person sticking around feels like a pretty important thing we get how knowing what you really want can make you know what you don't want but if you play this game with yourself it won't be long before there will be a new place that you've last left it did our video satisfy your soul in some way? Thank you a million times over for your help. We appreciate it more than you can imagine. Don't forget to leave us a comment and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it. See you later.